Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and today we are testing a new indie brand or new to me. I shouldn't say new new. I don't know how new they are but a new indie brand to me and that is Killer Queens Cosmetics. Now, I had never heard of them before. I found them by scrolling through Instagram. I was looking for a specific palette, which we will get into, and I saw that they had one themed like I was hoping, and I decided to pick it up. And this is their Ouija palette. See, I have my little planchette earrings on. Very Ouija today. But this is what the little covering looks like. It says, we summon the failure to join will haunt you forever. Let's conjure up some fun with Killer Queens Cosmetics Ouija Board Palette. I thought that was cute. And then on the back, it has the ingredients, which is nice. And then this is what the front of the actual palette looks, it looks like. It has a little board on it, you know very Ouija-esque. And then this is what the inside looks like. These are the colors. I was very drawn to this color story. I really like the blues in here and the greens. Um, you guys know that. Those are two of my favorite colors. And I really like this pinky purpley shade, which I don't know if we're going to use, but we might. We'll see. But before we begin, I just want to tell you guys, I have to be honest with you guys, I ordered this palette on August 9th. <laughs> I didn't get it until last week. I think last Friday was when I received it in the mail. So shipping was very slow. From what I know, they had to shut down their shipping because their USPS office had to shut down for the pandemic. They had to clean it because of you know, people getting sick. So they had to stop shipping for like two or three weeks, I believe. So it really caused a backlog, I think, for them. And they, I feel really bad for them because I understand that it's not their fault. And this has been like a horrible time for small businesses and stuff like that. So I don't hold that against them, but I am letting you know that I didn't get it for a really long time. What day is, what day was Friday? So I didn't get it until the second, I believe. So a really long time to wait, August 9th to October 2nd. Another thing I want to point out that this palette is $55, which I think is very expensive for two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 12 shadows. This is 12 shadows for $55. Um, it's a little pricey, pretty, pretty pricey. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping it works really well because I do really enjoy the colors. I think it's really pretty. I think it's a great idea. I love the Ouija theme. I think that's fun. And it's kind of what exactly what I was looking for, so I'm hoping that I do enjoy it. So, with that out of the way, um, let's put it on our face, shall we? Let's give it a go. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to zoom you guys in, prime my eyes, and let's get started. Okay, the eyes are primed. Let's get started, shall we? I'm going to take the shade Paranormal this purpley shade and I'm going to put it in my crease for the um oh wow that's a lot of kick up for the transition shade so I'm hoping I like this palette since it is expensive and since it took four million years to get to me um I hope I I really enjoy it that would be really nice actually but yes, do you guys like my planchette earrings? I'm usually not a big earring person. I'm not really a jewelry person in general, but over the span of a few months, I've been buying spooky, creepy, fun earrings for Halloween, and I am loving them. I've really been into polymer clay earrings. There's so many talented artists and they're very lightweight and I just really like them. These are acrylic 
but still I have a ton I was thinking about doing an earring haul where I show you guys all the earrings that I bought thought that would be fun I got these off of Etsy I got a lot off of Etsy to be fair I'm pretty much buying everything off of Etsy nowadays I love Etsy the purple is nice I like the color next I'm going to take the shade Conjure right here and put that a little bit lower. Speaking of Ouija's, have you guys ever played with a Ouija before? If you have, tell me your experience down below. Did anything happen? Was it scary? Was it fun? How many times have you played with a Ouija? I would love to know. I have played with a Ouija. And it was when I was a very stupid, stupid, stupid middle school student. Me and my friend bought one from Spencer's. It, it glowed in the dark. <laughs> and we like pulled our money together and we didn't tell our parents and then we bought it and then we took it to my house. And um, we tried it out at my house, but we didn't even do it inside the house. I don't know why, I think we were scared. So we did it outside on my deck and nothing happened. Thank God, because I didn't know the proper handlings of a Ouija board at that time or the proper procedures or anything like that. So I feel like um, we could have really done some damage if you guys believe in that kind of thing. I do. I definitely believe in ghosts and demons and that kind of thing, the spirit world. And I will never play with a Ouija ever again because I just don't want to take that chance, you know? I just don't, I don't want to take the risk if I invite something into me or my house or whatever just sounds way too scary so yeah no I'm good but I would love to know if you guys believe in ghosts and the paranormal and if you've used a Ouija board and what you guys thought have you guys had any ghost encounters mm, I kind of have I guess, I don't know, they could be, you know, paranormal or it could be like something else. So I'm not entirely sure, but I have experienced some interesting things. So I'm going to take more of paranormal, that purple, and just kind of blend these two together a bit more. I guess I can tell you about my experiences if you want. Um, when I lived in my old house in Ohio, I had my bedroom and my bedroom was small, but there was just something about it. I don't know, I didn't like the closet. I didn't like the vibe. I was kind of cut off from a lot of the other parts of the house. And I just didn't like sleeping in there. It was weird to me. It felt odd. And I used to always lock my door and keep my door closed when I slept because I hated being in that room. I know that makes no sense, but I felt safer if I was locked in my room. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to take Poltergeist right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Anyways, one time... I was getting ready to sleep. It was a school night, I believe. And I was trying to fall asleep because I had school the next day, so I wasn't trying to stay up too, too late. But I think I had just got done being on my phone and like reading or something like that. And I was trying to fall asleep. The lights were off, my door was closed, and something touched my foot. <laughs> Oh my god, it still freaks me out. And I had stuffed animals all over my bed. I'm a big stuffed animal person. I always have been. 
I love stuffed animals. But there's a complete difference between the feeling of a stuffed animal touching you and a hand touching you. And this was not a stuffed animal. This was a hand. It was for sure someone touching my foot. And I freaked out. I'm pretty sure I screamed. I ran out of my room as fast as I could and I told my mom. She believed me, but she checked my room and there was nothing there, obviously, in case, you know, there was someone like in my room, like a person hiding. Um, but yeah, nobody was there. And after that moment, I really just really hated my room. When I came back from college and I had to sleep in there, I was just, there was just something about that room. I just didn't like it. But, um, yeah, that was my, like, one experience. My mom used to hear things in that house, like, us talking to her, but it would never be anyone talking to her. Like, no one would be there. <laughs> but in this house, um, I've definitely heard my name said when no one said it. Like, one time I was taking a shower, and I very clearly heard someone say, Aaron, and I went, what? And then my boyfriend who was like downstairs came upstairs and was like, what? And I was like, D you just said my name. And he was like, no, I didn't. And I was like, yes, you did. He was like, no, I didn't. And I was like, are you playing a prank on me? And he was like, no. And I was like, someone just said my name. And he was like, are you sure? I was like, yes, I'm sure. Um, that's like the second or third time I've heard my name said. One time my mom was downstairs and I was upstairs and I heard Aaron and I said, what? And she said, what? I said, you just said my name. She was like, no, I didn't. So, yeah. It's usually always in my room or my bathroom when I hear my name. Could be, you know, something else. Or it could be paranormal. Not sure. My mom's had experiences and my boyfriend's had experiences. He believes us, but... He's also a little more skeptical than we are. I think he believes that we think we heard things, but I don't know if he believes that there's like a ghost or something, you know? I don't even know if I believe that, so spooky. But this blue shade, holy guacamole. Look at that pan of the blue. That is kick up city. Oh my God, this is like a lot. That's better. I just did it with like a towel. I didn't like actually <laughs> use anything that would get it off properly, so that's my own fault. But yeah, um, just some weird stuff, I guess, you know. I'm gonna take my NYX glitter primer and a flat shader brush, and I'm going to cut my crease. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Magic, this blue shimmery shade right here, and I'm going to put that on my cut crease and see what that looks like. It looks like a really, really pretty shade. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is a pretty, pretty shimmer. I really, really like that shimmer. That's really gorgeous. This shimmer is beautiful okay so i'm gonna add a little bit more of poltergeist that blue and just kind of pack it around the shimmer just to melt it just a little bit more i don't want too much of this blue because it is very fallouty that is so pretty that blue is so striking Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera and then I will be back to do the lower lash line with you guys and then I will tell you guys my thoughts so far on this palette. So I will be right back. Okay, the rest of my face is done. Let's do the lower lash line. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna take Poltergeist right here, this dark blue shade, and I'm going to put that on a, 
a flat definer brush and I'm going to put that really close to my lash line. Next, I'm going to take Conjure, this light tealy shade, and I'm going to blend out the dark blue with this shade. Then lastly, I'm going to take Paranormal, the purple shade, and I'm going to blend that on the lower lash line as well. Just like that. And then for the inner corner, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. And I'm going to take the shade Energy, this bright yellow shimmer, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner. Like so. That's pretty. Ooh. That's a fun pop. Okay. And then lastly, I'm just going to throw on some mascara and a lip and then we will be done. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I actually really 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 like it. I think it's super pretty. This blue shimmer is gorgeous. So let me zoom you guys out and I will tell you guys my thoughts. Okay so first I'm not really going to comment on the shipping too too much. I don't think that was their fault. I think it was out of their hands and I'm not really that upset about it. I feel bad for them. I'm hoping that you know, the pandemic didn't set them back too, too terribly bad. And I'm just grateful I got my package that I paid for. And that's pretty much all I can say. I don't really want to make it a key factor since this whole year has kind of been a lot different. And, you know, smaller businesses have, have been trying to fix things and sort through things and do it to the best of their ability. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope that um, everything is working out for them now and they don't have too many issues. So besides the shipping, I'm going to talk about the palette solely. So the packaging I think is cute. I do wish it was like a little bit, I don't know, it just doesn't scream Ouija to me. And I know it has the Ouija board, you know. It looks like a Ouija board. I just feel like it doesn't scream Ouija. Maybe if there was like, I don't know. I just, I wish it was just a little different. Maybe some like yellows on there, like Ouija, just like bold right across the top. Cause it's just kind of there, if you can see that. I don't know. I think the lettering should be maybe like a little bit different just to make it more bold and stand out a little bit more just because I feel like this is a little lackluster. And since you are paying $55, I am going to critique the packaging because I feel like packaging should be better if you're going to pay a higher price for it. The palette. I think the color story is gorgeous. It's very unique, very different. I like the shades. I think there are like too many yellowy golds though because you have this dirty green yellow gold you have this like um just regular gold and then this bright yellow so maybe if they had switched one of the yellowy shades for something else that would have been a little bit more diversifying i guess it would have just been a little bit different otherwise i do like the shades in the palette it's interesting that there's a white and a black i'll have to test those out and see what I think. I'm not a huge fan of blacks just because um, they're very hard to use and I'm not that good with them. The white should be interesting. I do use white a fair bit so hopefully I will test that out. Otherwise there is a bunch of kick up and fallout with these um, matte shades so just be aware of that when you decide to use it. If you do decide to use it there is a lot of kick up and a lot of fallout, especially this shade. This shade is crazy bad. The shimmers, I only used Magic and Energy, this blue and this yellow. This blue is magnificent. The best shimmer probably in the palette if I'm just going off first impressions. This is probably gonna be my favorite shimmer. I just think it's so striking. It is so beautiful. But the shimmer applied nicely. I didn't have any problems. I feel like the mattes might 
get muddy depending on the colors you mix together. So you'll probably have to be careful of that when you are using some of these mattes. I feel like the, the shades could get muddy and the look could turn out kind of not what you want. So maybe be careful with what shades you're picking in the palette. As for it retailing for $55, I honestly think it's just too much money. I think $55 is just too high of a price point. I think the formula is nice, but I don't I don't know. $55 is just a lot. It's a lot of money. So I don't know if I think it's worth $55, but I do think it's a nice palette. And I'm excited to have it and I'm excited to test out more of the shades and see what it's like because I've only used, god I only used so many shades. I only used one, two, three, four, five if you include the inner corner highlight. So five shades out of 12. I mean that's not a lot. It's almost half but definitely not a lot of shades. Definitely not enough shades to fully comment on the formula of the palette. From what I've tried it's pretty good. But I don't know if it's $55 good. $55 is quite a bit, even for an indie brand. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure about that price point. But other than that, I'm excited to try it some more. Let me know if you guys want to see another um, video on it. If you want, like, a three looks or just me playing with some of the colors. Maybe I can do like a get ready with me or something like that. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you've tried Killer Queen's cosmetics, um, if you've even heard of them, you know, what your thoughts are overall on them. I'd love to know. And with that being said, I think this is the end of the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends, talk about makeup, horror, books, movies, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I don't know if I'm going to see you guys on Friday because I don't know if I'm uploading a video because I haven't decided yet. So maybe I'll see you on Friday. Maybe I'll see you on Monday. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!